In this video, the regional equivalent network reduction method is demonstrated using the Texas grid model. Study case 8.2 should be activated. The fundamentals of network reduction are explained in a video based on the standard transmission system example. Here, we are focusing on network reductions carried out using the regional equivalent method, which is aimed at system operators who are primarily interested in their own operational area, but wish to retain a nominal representation of other networks interconnected with their own. Let us first understand a little about the Texas grid model. It consists of a number of interconnected grids. As you can see here in this geographic diagram, which has been colored according to grid. In addition, zones have been defined in the model, to provide a way for looking at smaller regions of the network. The zones have been defined so that they align with the grids, with each grid corresponding to one or more zones. Focusing on the south of the network, the zones in the three southernmost grids are as indicated here. In this example, we are most interested in Zone 21, Corpus Christi, which is this zone. So, we will set up the Network Reduction command to reduce most of the rest of the network, but retain Zone 21 and its immediate neighbors. Let us look at the steps in this process. The regional equivalent method allows each reduced region, in this case each reduced zone, to be represented by a single node. Take for example the west grid, which corresponds to two zones. This will be replaced by two nodes. At each node the demand of the group is represented by one or more load objects and the generation by one or more synchronous machines, depending on the options selected. The advantage of this modeling is that the demand and generation can later be adjusted as required. Between each node, and from the nodes to the rest of the network, equivalent impedances are created, together with phase shifters for managing the flows. This network reduction part of the process is followed by an optimization step, where the values of the equivalent impedances are optimized, to ensure that the flows between the regions match the original flows as closely as possible. The network reduction command is found in the additional functions toolbox. We can see that it is set up to use the regional equivalent method. And 23 zones have been selected for reduction. The optimized network reduction can be carried out for a single point in time, by selecting the calculation type load flow or can be optimized for multiple points in time by using the quasi-dynamic simulation method. In this case, we will use the second option, so that the reduced network will be suitable for all times of day. More options are found on the regional equivalent page. On the aggregation tab, there are settings which allow the user some flexibility in terms of the load and generator objects to be created. On the Impedance Identification tab, we find the settings which control the optimization process for the impedance values. Note that this process makes use of the standard system parameter identification function. An important input into the process, is the user supplied weighting factors, which are used to determine which flows are most critical when optimizing the impedances. In this example, as we are particularly interested in Zone 21, Corpus Christi, which is this part of the south grid, we have given a high weighting to the interchange flows for this zone. On the verification page, there are options for validating the reduced network, which have been selected. The network reduction can now be executed. A new study case is created, and a network variation, which records all the changes. As we can see on the geographic diagram, the selected zones have now all been reduced. 
and in a network model manager, we can see the new generators, loads and impedances that have been created. The accuracy of the results can easily be seen in the validation plots, which show the power transfers of the retained zones. The differences between the flows before and after reduction are very small. We now have a greatly reduced network, which will result in much faster calculation times. For example, a quasi-dynamic simulation for a complete month, with hourly time steps, will be 11 times faster when this reduced network is used.